In this example, we're given a function of x, y, and z, and asked to find the first order of partial derivatives. For the first step, though, we want to rewrite the square root using a rational exponent. So let's write the function as f of x comma y comma z equals the quantity five x plus six y minus four z raised to the power of one half. And now to find the partial derivative with respect to x, we'll treat y and z as constants. So notice how we'll have to apply the power rule with the chain rule. So we would have one half times the quantity five x plus six y minus four z raised to the power of one half minus one, that's negative one half, and then times the derivative of five x plus six y minus four z with respect to x. Well, the derivative of five x with respect to x would be five, and the derivative of the y and z terms with respect to x would be zero, again, because we're treating y and z as constants. So simplifying, we'd have a five in the numerator, we'd have a two in the denominator, and then because this is to the negative one-half power, we'll move it down to the denominator and write it as a square root. So we'd have two times the square root of five x plus six y minus four z in the denominator. So this is the partial derivative with respect to x. And now we'll find the partial derivative with respect to y, treating x and z as constants. So again, we'd have one half times the quantity five x plus six y minus four z, raised to the power of one half minus one, that's negative one half, times the derivative of five x plus six y minus four z, now with respect to y, so the derivative of five x and negative four z with respect to y would be zero, and the derivative of six y with respect to y would be six. So simplifying, notice that one half times six equals three. So we'll have a three in the numerator, and again we'll move this down to the denominator to make this exponent positive, which would then be equivalent to the square root. So our denominator would be the square root of five x plus six y minus four z. So here's our partial derivative with respect to y, and now we want to find the partial with respect to z. So now we'll treat x and y as constants. So once again, we'd have one half times the quantity five x plus six y minus four z raised to the power of negative one half, since one half minus one equals negative one half, and then times the derivative of five x plus six y minus four z with respect to z. Well, the derivative of the x and y terms with respect to z would be zero, and the derivative of negative four z with respect to z would be negative four. So here, notice one half times negative four would be negative two. So now we have negative two divided by, again, moving this to the denominator would give us the denominator of the square root of, again, five x plus six y minus four z. Okay, that's it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.